President Biden's comments yesterday about trying to uh, regulate that space a bit more closely would again appear to be uh, another attempt to exert control over elements that are really at this point in time sort of out of control, aren't they? Now, that touches upon uh, um, what came out uh, today, um, President Biden's executive order about the regulation of digital assets. And this is an order that basically tasks various U.S. agencies um, and institutions with trying to develop a comprehensive plan for regulation of a broad set of digital um, assets, including um, decentralized cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, but in addition, stable coins that get their value from being pegged, uh, essentially, um, to fiat currencies, and also uh, thinking about prospects for a digital version of the U.S. dollar. Um, in all of these areas, I think regulation is certainly uh, necessary because um, it is a bit of a wild west right now. You have a lot of um, uh, prospects for decentralization and the prospects of these new technologies potentially democratizing finance. But on the other hand, there is a risk that these technologies could be used for illicit financing. It, they, they could um, end up not providing the sort of investor protection that is necessary to make sure that retail investors understand the risks of what they're getting into. Um, and you have financial stability risks as well, uh, including from stable coins, which might seem like the safest of instruments, but are beginning to essentially function like unregulated money market mutual funds. So the idea behind mm -hmm. the order is to start thinking about the functionality of these different assets and technologies and thereby regulate them. And actually, it might end up benefiting the industry. As you may have noticed, Bitcoin's price jumped since the executive order was issued. Because ultimately, what these sorts of regulations provide to the industry is legitimacy. Now, of course, the industry is going to scream once they see the specifics of legislation, which might crimp them a little bit. But I think overall, bringing some regulatory clarity is certainly going to help the industry and potentially could also help harness the benefits of these new technologies while mitigating the risks.